Greetings, fellow followers of Financial Trends. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into some fresh news that's making waves in the world of economics. Fitch Ratings has recently downgraded the United States credit rating, and we're here to dissect this development piece by piece. Stick around as we explore the reasons behind this move, its potential impact, and the expert opinion surrounding it. So, without further ado, let's delve into the nitty-gritty of this intriguing situation. Number 1. What's the buzz around Fitch's downgrade? Now, let's jump into the heart of the matter and explore the buzz surrounding Fitch Rating's recent move to downgrade the United States credit rating. This development isn't just making headlines, it's sending ripples through financial circles and raising questions about the nation's economic trajectory. Understanding Credit Ratings Before we dive deeper, let's quickly recap what credit ratings are all about. Imagine you're lending money to someone, a friend, perhaps. You'd want to know how likely they are to pay you back, right? Similarly, credit rating agencies assess how likely countries, corporations, or even individuals are to meet their financial obligations. Fitch Ratings – A Key Player Fitch Ratings is one of the major players in this field. Think of them as the judges handing out financial grades. Their assessments have the power to influence borrowing costs, investor confidence, and even government policies. In this case, Fitch took a critical look at the United States and determined that a downgrade was warranted. The Significance of a Downgrade A credit downgrade isn't just an arbitrary shift in a number. It holds meaning for the economic landscape. It indicates that Fitch sees a change in the United States' ability to manage its financial commitments effectively. It's like your credit score dropping, signaling that lenders might see you as slightly riskier. In this scenario, Fitch's downgrade is like a stern nod of caution to the nation's financial management. 2. Why did Fitch downgrade the U.S.? The downgrade didn't just happen out of the blue. Fitch ratings provided clear-cut reasons for this decision. These reasons serve as a window into the economic health of the U.S. Let's break them down step by step. Reason number 1. Erosion of Governance one of the key factors Fitch mentioned is the erosion of governance over the past two decades. This might sound vague, but it boils down to a decline in decision-making quality. Fitch points out that governance standards have been slipping, especially in fiscal and debt-related matters. This decline has been evident in repeated debt limit standoffs and last-minute resolutions. These kinds of situations can shake investor confidence and create uncertainty. Reason number two. Rising General Government Deficits Another focal point is the rise in general government deficits. This means that the government's expenses are surpassing its revenues. Fitch forecasts a deficit of 6.3% of the GDP for this year, compared to 3.7% in the previous year. This increase is driven by weaker federal revenues and new spending initiatives. The forecast predicts this deficit will keep widening over the next few years. Reason number 3. General Government Debt to Rise Debt is a topic that often garners attention, and for good reason. Fitch's report highlights that while the debt-to-GDP ratio decreased slightly after the pandemic peak, it's still significantly high. At 112.9% of GDP, the debt level in the U.S. is a concern. Fitch predicts that this ratio will continue to rise, making the country more vulnerable to economic shocks. Reason number 4. Unaddressed Medium-Term Fiscal Challenges Think of this as a to-do list that has yet to be tackled. Fitch notes that the U.S. has some medium-term fiscal challenges that must be adequately addressed. These include rising interest rates, a growing debt stock, and increasing health care costs. Unless these challenges are met head-on, they could spell trouble for the country's financial stability. Reason number 5. U.S. Economy Likely to Slip into Recession Brace yourselves, Fitch's projections suggest a mild recession for the U.S. might be on the horizon. This prediction is based on factors like tightening credit conditions, weakening business investment, and a slowdown in consumption. However, it's worth noting that other experts have differing opinions on this matter. Reason number 6. Fed Tightening The Federal Reserve's role in the economy can't be ignored. Fitch points out that the Fed's goal of controlling inflation is getting trickier. This tightening of monetary policy and the reduction of securities holdings, like U.S. Treasuries, is impacting financial conditions. Number 3. 
what's the reaction to the downgrade? The financial world is buzzing with chatter about this unexpected credit downgrade by Fitch Ratings. It's like a ripple effect, an action taken by one player causing waves that reach others. Let's explore the reactions and perspectives that emerged in this announcement's aftermath. Timing and Surprises First things first, the timing of this downgrade raised eyebrows. With the U.S. economy appearing relatively strong, some experts found the decision quite surprising. Economists and market analysts took a step back to make sense of this move, especially considering the backdrop of positive economic indicators. Expert voices, a mixed bag. In the realm of financial expertise, opinions are diverse. We've heard voices from notable figures in the field. Larry Summers, a former U.S. Treasury Secretary, was quick to express his bewilderment, labeling Fitch's decision as bizarre and inept. He pointed out the U.S. economy's apparent strength, questioning the rationale behind the downgrade. Views from the Trenches Mohamed El Arian, a chief economic advisor at the major financial services company, chimed in with his perspective. He labeled the downgrade a strange move and suggested its lasting impact might be limited. This is a reminder that expert opinions can vary widely in the dynamic world of finance, even in response to a significant event like this. Seeking Clarity and Insights As the dust settles, market watchers and financial enthusiasts are seeking clarity. It's a reminder that even in the realm of finance, where numbers and predictions dominate, surprises and differing viewpoints can emerge. As we journey further into the economic landscape, keeping an ear to the ground for expert insights and interpretations can guide our understanding of complex developments like this one. Number 4. How does this affect you? You might ask, what's the bottom line for me? Let's unpack how this downgrade could have a ripple effect on both the broader economy and your financial world. Credit Ratings – A Vital Benchmark First, credit ratings serve as a financial benchmark, like a grade on a report card. They give us an idea of a country's creditworthiness, its ability to repay borrowed funds. The downgrade indicates that Fitch sees a decrease in the United States' ability to meet its financial obligations. Impact on borrowing cost A lower credit rating can have knock-on effects when it comes to borrowing. In this case, it might lead to higher borrowing costs for the government. Picture this. If you were borrowing money and your credit score dropped, lenders might ask for a higher interest rate to compensate for the perceived risk. Similarly, a downgrade can lead to higher interest rates for the U.S. government's borrowing, influencing borrowing costs for individuals and businesses. Your Pocket and the Economy Now, let's consider the bigger picture. If the government pays more interest to service its debt, it might need to allocate more funds. This could impact government spending priorities, which might have a trickle-down effect on various sectors of the economy. However, it's important to remember that the U.S. economy is resilient and has weathered multiple storms. Number 5. What's next? So, where does the United States go from here? The downgrade is a glaring spotlight on areas needing attention and improvements. Let's explore what might be on the horizon. Policymakers' role. The ball is now in the court of policymakers. They have a crucial role in addressing the issues that Fitch Ratings has flagged. This could involve making strategic decisions to manage deficits, implement fiscal reforms, and find ways to boost economic growth. Tackling challenges head-on Remember those medium-term fiscal challenges we mentioned earlier? These challenges, like rising health care costs and growing debt, must be tackled proactively. Policymakers must work on strategies to control spending and manage debt levels to create a more sustainable economic future. Resilience of the U.S. Economy Despite the downgrade, it's worth emphasizing that the U.S. economy is a powerhouse on the global stage. It's been through ups and downs before and has shown remarkable resilience. It's essential to keep this perspective in mind and not view the downgrade as the end of the road. It's more of a signpost, urging the country to steer its economic ship in a specific direction. Conclusion – What to Keep in Mind As we wrap up this session, remember that the recent credit downgrade by Fitch Ratings is a spotlight on certain aspects of the U.S. economy. We've covered the reasons behind the downgrade, how it might impact you, and what might be on the horizon. Staying informed about financial news and trends can empower you to make informed decisions. 
If this breakdown has been enlightening, consider supporting us by hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing to our channel. Until our next exploration of the financial landscape, stay curious and keep those questions coming.